That's a good puppy. You're a hungry puppy, huh? It's okay. Um, he didn't drink a lot of water yesterday, so what we're doing here is giving him some fluids under the skin. We have never had a dog who had a broken back. That's a good boy. And I didn't have any hope. I said, can he be saved? And he said, I don't know. If you do surgery, can this dog survive? And what is his quality of life? It was the best answer we could have ever asked for. And at the same time, they told us that it would be about $12,000. That's not even workable. I don't, do we have any other options? And one of the next phone calls I got was from a vet at that hospital who said, I am willing to do whatever I need to do. We need to make this work. I thought, okay. Oh, yeah, it's a good baby. It would be such a shame to quit there happened to be a traffic accident that allowed people on the freeway to notice him. Someone like me, who is partnered with a dog rescue, happened to see him and be there to respond. Those are just like the stars aligned for Frogger. Frogger wasn't giving up. We just brainstormed and figured out how we could raise the money. All of a sudden, seeing on our Facebook these pictures post up that became known as fans of Frogger. Frogger, we're cheering for you. Or Frogger, get well. It, it took a life of its own. I've been truly humbled and just in awe of some of the things people have done for us. and then he was able to come home to me and I've been doing his rehabilitation ever since. He's been nothing but gracious and patient with me. He'll let me do anything that I need to do for him. He's not in any pain. He kind of scoots himself around, but he can steady himself on his back feet, though they're not necessarily bearing his weight yet. His personality has been coming out with time as he's been feeling better. He's starting to enjoy the company of other dogs. When I walk him, I don't walk him with a leash. I just have his sling, but he's very independent in that he kind of just wants to go wherever. He's a very cuddly guy, so if I sit on the floor, he'll want to try to get into my lap. Frogger and his story has been a catalyst for me and people of the community. He's still gonna live a really good life. The fact that he's still here is just really rewarding. He's such a special dog. I know there's a home out there for Frogger.
Thanks for watching. For more inspiring videos, articles, and pictures, check out the petcollective.tv.